Hi everyone, welcome to Fit and Calm. I am Kushpinda and today we have a small practice for you that will help you increase the flexibility of the body and that will also help you de-stress as well. So let's get into something comfortable, let's get on the mat and let's get started. before we begin remember that every body is really different some bodies are very flexible and some of them they need a little more time and little more practice don't get disheartened yoga is not just about flexibility so if your body is not allowing beyond a certain point you have to respect your body's limits so keep practicing there will definitely be progress but we have to listen to our bodies yoga is not just about mastering those splits it's about listening to our own bodies so Let's get started. Let's close our eyes. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. One more breath in. And as you exhale, relax the body completely. You chant Om three times. Let's breathe in for Om. Another joyful breath in and joyfully breathe out. Gently open your eyes. So with a smile on our faces, we start rocking the body a little front and back. And back to the center, rock the body a little sideways. Let's just loosen up the body before we begin. And back to the center. Slowly bring both your feet together. So if you can, just hold and otherwise you can hold wherever your body allows. If you can hold this, that's all right. Now just move the knees up and down so wherever the body allows remember that it's not about touching your knees to the ground so it's about the journey that matters okay so just keep moving enjoying the movement now slowly take your hands and very gently just push the knees down very gently as much as your body allows and release once again we'll move the knees up and down now inhale take the head back placing your elbows on your legs and thighs exhale come down as much as your body allows it's not necessary to bring your head all the way down wherever you are is completely all right if you can bring the head down just rest down on the ground if not wherever you are just be there relaxing the body with every breath take a joyful breath in and as you exhale, relax the body. One more breath in. And exhale. Another deep breath in. And let go. Gently inhale and come up. I'll come back into a comfortable seated position 
and slowly just lift the leg up you can keep your hand underneath here and here if you're able to if you have enough range of motion you can hold both the hands and interlace the fingers as well if not wherever you can hold so that's also completely all right so now like a baby we are just going to move the leg from the left to right just moving it like you would cradle a baby so if you wish to you can even give a little bit of sounds to the baby mm -hmm. now just gently kiss the baby if you cannot kiss the baby let's give the baby a flying kiss and continue And gently let's put the baby down so we've been fortunate enough to have two babies let's pick the other one up so the same thing don't feel left out if you have to hold here and there so that's completely okay it's progress that matters you can do mm -hmm. Keeping the spine straight huh? as much as you can. Kissing your baby or a flying kiss. And putting the baby down. Now gently let's come into the cat cow position. Hands directly underneath the shoulders, knees directly underneath the hips. Now we are going to widen the gap between the hands and between the knees. And we are going to gently make circles with the body. As big circles as we can. Clockwise first. And then anti-clockwise. Now come back to the center. And we will just move the pelvis now. Just rotating the pelvis. The shoulders and hands stay in the same position. We just move the pelvis or the opposite direction. And now slowly sit back and come back up. Bring the toes together. Go back and come up if you're not able to go all the way back that's okay remember that if anywhere that you are is completely okay go back and come forward slowly bring the knees together and gently bring your right foot in between both the hands so if you can let it you can take the other leg down if you have more flexibility if this is the position where you are at right now that's also completely fine so just be wherever you are and just hold this posture for a bit take a deep breath in and breathe out so flexibility is a lot about staying in the postures enjoying the postures so we don't hurry A deep breath in, enjoying the breaths and breathe out. As you breathe out, keep relaxing the body and gently bring the leg back. Now bring the other foot in front deep breaths. Take a deep breath in and breathe out one more breath in and let go enjoying the breath going in and out feeling the body relaxing a little more with every breath and gently bring the knee back coming back into our Cat cow posture slowly lift your knees off the ground and just place the heels down on the ground you can let the knees be bent as well if that is comfortable to you 
if not your heels can be off the ground as well that's also completely okay so now we are going to press into the mat with the hands and press away and the heels are wanting to come down towards the ground the navel is tucked in towards the lower back take a deep breath in and breathe out bringing your chest towards your thighs take another deep breath in and exhale one more breath in and let go gently come down again once again taking your foot in between so this time gently bending it down we bring it down to the ground if you cannot do this yet you can place a yoga block or a blanket in between in the space here if you are able to go here you can just directly go down take a deep breath in and exhale one more breath in and breathe out so slowly and gently if you have the flexibility you can start taking this leg out so that will start increasing your flexibility more and more if that is not comfortable yet just remain here and just see if you can come a little down if you're comfortably able to come down let your head rest on the floor take a deep breath in and exhale one more breath in breathe out breathing in gently come up bring the hands by the sides so to increase the flexibility slowly you can start increasing the range go up and gently coming down like this so this is going to be very slow as you progress but continue doing it you can pause the video stay in the posture for as long as you like all these postures are very relaxing as well they de-stress the body very very effectively now gently bring the knee down and now we bring the left knee down the other one once again if this is not comfortable to you feel free to keep a yoga block underneath feel free to keep a pillow or blanket whatever makes you feel comfortable just do that take a deep breath in and exhale one more breath in breathe out breathe in and as you exhale gently if you can come just come down if you're not able to come down wherever you can come just hold there if you can come all the way down come down letting the body relax completely if it's too easy for you you can always extend your leg take a deep breath in and breathe out one more breath in and exhale gently inhale bring the hands by the side just as I told for the last time you can keep bringing this foot outwards and keep repeating the same so depending on your body's flexibility this will start happening happening gradually but if it's not happening for you right now there's no need to worry so you just continue doing wherever you are you just continue practicing now gently bring this knee back come back to the center this time we will place our left ankle on top of the right knee both the ankles are in line with the knees and gently move a little up and down You'll notice as you are moving up and down so 
there's some sensation in the legs. Just feel that sensation, enjoy. If you're not able to move so much, even if you're just a little bit here and there, that's totally okay. And back to the center, now the other side. Little front and back. Making sure that there's a little triangle formed in between the legs, your heels and your knees. They are stacked on top of each other. And back to the center. You stretch out your left leg, bringing the right foot close to the left thigh. Now very gently place your hands on the knee and we'll just move a little front and back. So keeping the spine straight. As if there's a string, you're a puppet and the string is pulling you upwards from the spine, from the base of the spine to the top of the head. So move a little up and down as much as your body allows. There's no hurry. And exhale gently, come down. As much as your body allows, it might not be so much. And just bring your head down with every breath. Keep relaxing the body just a little more. Keep relaxing the body with every exhalation. Notice where the body is getting a little stiff. Now take a deep breath in and exhale. Breathe into all those muscles that are getting a little tense and loosen them up. The more you let the body loose, the more flexible the body gets. Gently inhale and come. Now we'll do it on the other side, stretch out the right leg, bending the left one, bringing the left foot close to the right thigh once again, hands on the knee, just moving, enjoying the moves, little up and down, making the moves your own, notice how the body is feeling, your body will feel really good when you do all these hip openers, your body might not come down so much. But even if it's a little movement, you'll feel the effect in the mind. So when you're doing this, do it with the awareness on the breath, awareness on the body. And of course the mind. Now gently dropping the head, dropping the hands, wherever the body allows. Take a deep breath in and breathe out one more breath in and exhale with every breath keep relaxing the body just a little more the more you relax the body the more flexible the body gets Gently inhale and come up. Stretch out both the legs. You can adjust the hips a little bit. And now keeping your hands down once again, keeping the spine straight, just move a little up and down. Wherever you can come. If you can go down, if you are able to hold your big toes, with these two fingers you hold the big toes and wrapping the thumb over them. And inhale, just extend the spine. Notice how the back of the legs are feeling. Deep breaths, take a deep breath in. Exhale, inhale. And as you exhale, gently stretching the spine forwards, dropping the body down. So you don't have to come down all the way, wherever you are. That's okay, remember that it's okay slowly come down relax the body wherever you are just let the body loose let gravity do its work you just keep breathing with awareness 
noticing how the muscles are feeling wherever any of the muscles are feeling a little tense breathe into that area and as you exhale relax those muscles completely one small breath in and breathe out another breath in exhale fully relaxing the body completely and gently inhale and gently come up slowly turn to the side we lie down on the back relax the body now bend both your legs at the knees bringing the feet closer to the hips like a boss placing your right foot on top of the left thigh taking the hand in between the triangle form the other one from the outside hold your knee and just bring it as close as you can if you are able to hold it well and good if not then just try to hold it and just bring the leg closer as much as you can now notice how the leg is feeling as you bring it closer to the chest deep breaths a joyful breath in and joyfully exhale one more breath in and let go gently release the hands bring the feet down bringing the right foot down the left foot on top of the right knee and once again interlacing your hands and now bringing the knee close to your chest as much as you can doing only that much respecting the body's limits feel the relaxation coming into the body feel the body opening up making sure we do only as much as the body allows us to do maybe just a little more but making sure it's never painful for the body joyfully breathe in and joyfully breathe out gently relax the leg relax in shavasana stretch out your hands stretch out your legs keeping a little distance between both take a deep breath in and as you exhale relax completely let go of all effort gently become aware of all the parts that are touching the ground Take a deep breath in and breathe out. One more breath in and exhale fully. relax your feet relax your knees thighs and hips relax both the legs become aware of your pelvis relax relax the navel chest back right shoulder and arm left shoulder and arm 
relax the neck face breathe in and let go relaxing completely Another joyful breath in and exhale, keeping the eyes closed, gently turn to the right side, keep lying down, if you wish to, you may stretch your right arm, place it underneath your right ear. Taking the support of the hands, keeping the eyes closed. Gently come to a sitting position. Hands on the knees, palms facing upwards. A gentle smile on the face. A deep breath in. And exhale. Loka samasta sukhino bhavantu Om shanti 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 With a smile, one more breath in And joyfully let go Let us be grateful for everything we've received in life. Another breath in. Exhale. Become aware of your body. Become aware of the surroundings. And whenever you feel complete, taking your own time, you may gently open your eyes. I hope you enjoyed today's practice. It's a nice practice to de-stress the body and of course to increase the flexibility of the body. If you like our videos, do like, do comment and do share with others. Let us spread more positivity into the world and do hit that bell icon and you'll get notified whenever new videos come up. May you stay fit and calm.